We've got a Beretta 695 Sporter to do today. It's a 30 inch. The reason I've decided to do this video is because it's, I believe, one of the first in the UK. Might not be. It's one of the first that, that we've had here at Country Way. What I'll do, I'll show you the end of the box. There we go. Yeah, it's all focused in. Yeah, 695, 12 bought. After that, Paul, the... It's a little bit scripty. You have to... <laughs> it's... Um, like written in code. I yeah. don't know what the code is, but so let's get the gun out of the box and let's have a look. Now I've wanted since this morning to look at this gun desperately to see what the wood is. We've seen the gun in the 695 game. Let's all have a look together and see what the 695 sporting looks like. So do you want to just yeah. if you can Paul show people what it looks like before this is exactly how it have come how it has come from the Italian factory yeah so with this being the better quality one you've got I'll show you over there Paul mm. you've got socks sheep's wool um, felt I think they are to be honest with you felt socks that you put the gun and the barrels in just quickly Paul we've got a little bit of Bretta oil complimentary yeah. and what have we got in the choke box so we've got Beretta's Optibore HP chokes we've got a choke key in there and by the look of it we've got a skeet cylinder and an improved cylinder for want of a better word wide open and a little bit more colour coded and these are Optibore HP's as I said extended let's get to the um, let's get to the meat and potatoes of it <laughs> and open up and have a look at now the quality of the wood on that mate yeah is it coming out okay yeah. trying to move the camera around to get there we go yeah nice now i'm going to flip it around the other way paul and that side is even nicer yeah coming out okay yeah, not getting too much glare or anything lay it that. down um, lay it down so getting a little bit of glare Paul but yeah. again we're still just doing this on a camera phone aren't we? <laughs> we are. So let's have a look at the engraving mate. Now Beretta engraving of late has started to be a little bit shallow on the lower end guns. This one being a 695. This is on Beretta's new 690, 692. It's, it's on a new action when I say new it's been around about five or six years which in the gun world is almost brand new mm. but beautifully engraved again it's machine engraved but it's very tastefully done machine engraved and it is all over it so I'll lay that there Paul and then we'll get the gun out of the box get the gun out of the box You get that engraving, mate. Yeah, we'll get your zoom right in. Nice. So, this appears to be overly backboard. They call it tapered boring, basically. 18.6 millimeter, 18.6, 735, 740, something like that. I'll pop the gun together, Paul. And let's just talk about it. Ever so slightly. Let's talk about it ever so slightly. You want to show just up here, Paul. Yes, just up here. With these new, let me move that out of your way, mate. Let me move that out of your way. With these new Beretta 690, 692 actions, a few of the things that had arisen with the 680, 682, 686 action. A few of the things Beretta have tried to address. Now, one of the things that they've tried to address is the fore end on the 686s gets a little bit loose a bit quickly. So what they've done, can you see in the fore end there, Paul? Yep. There's a little spring. Yeah, I was going to say, yep. What that spring does is that spring keeps tension on the back of the... Oh, 
for in loop is the word I am looking for. <laughs> what it does, it keeps tension on here and it pushes the fore end against the action and it keeps the gun tight for longer. It's not a gimmick, it works very well to be honest with you, but I'm not trying to show people. The other thing I was getting to is a little bit stiff to put forward <laughs> on. Clicks on, job done. So let's open the gun up. And again, the ejectors are going to kick off. I like to put my fingers over them. Some people do, some people don't. So just what have we got with this gun? Again, we've got a nice tapered rib on it, Paul. Got a nice tapered rib on it. We've got Bretas of more recent. They're more standard. 14 and 3 quarter length for Paul, I would assume. And the drop that's on that one's going to be two and a quarter around that sort of area. Very nicely finished as with most of the Bretta guns that you will see. The checkering has done has been done beautifully on it. The, the wood that's on this one, I feel, is particularly nice to be honest with you. Yeah, it does look nice. The, the trouble that you've got, Paul, with too nice a wood is it breaks because it's weak. I mean, yeah. when you look at, at strong wood, the grain's all going in the same direction. When you look at beautiful swirly pattern, beautifully figured wood, it's, it's quite weak. But this wood is swirly at the bottom and then it goes straight up towards the pistol grip and up to the head of the stock, which is, is basically what you're looking for. So you've got Berettas, as I said, tapered bores. You've got Optibore chokes on it. You've got a tapered rib, which is quite nice. A flat tapered rib as well. You've got auto ejectors, single trigger. You've got an adjustable single trigger. Is that coming out? Yeah, I've got that, yep. Yeah. Got an adjustable single trigger. So you can you've got three positions where it is in the middle. You've got forwards and you've got back. You've also got a silver oval on this one, which has started to be omitted on some of the lower grade stuff. Whether that matters or not, Paul, doesn't <laughs> really. It's just another thing. You've also got can you see the palm swell on this one, mate? Let's see. Um, just about making it out. Yeah, just about you can there. So palm swell. Now, I did have a look in the box quickly. I don't think this one, and if I'd done the research, Paul, and I'd read on the internet, if anybody's watching these videos, they will already know. I enjoy learning about them all. I don't want to know the absolute specifics of every single one. There's far too many to learn about. I don't know 100% whether this has got the BFAST system. It definitely hasn't got it underneath the 4M like the 692. But the weight of the gun, I would assume it's going to be something in the region of maybe about 7.5 pounds, I should think, which is for a sporting clay gun. It's, it's about right. Yes. I hope the video's come out okay, Paul. We yeah. got we got engravings, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah, and the stock was coming out quite nice there, come move it back a bit, yeah. yeah so we got the engraving. This one's in 30 inch, mate. Yeah, still shot proofed. As with the more modern stuff from Bretter, it's all still shot proofed. And this is their newest one, is it? The newest uh, the gun is is a brand spanking new gun that's only just come to the market, yes. The action, as I say, has been around now probably five or six years. This is this is a new model, Paul. I've had this gun on order for about nine months so far. Yeah. What Bretta are doing with a lot of their stuff is they're uh, trying to forward sell it. It's just the way the gun trade and the rest of the world's going nowadays. But yeah, it's impeccably finished, mate. Impeccably finished. There's no high spots on the engraving as there wouldn't be. The blacking that's done on it is is deep. I mean, if we wipe off the, uh, if we wipe off the preservative grease that comes from the factory, it's a, a beautiful deep blue. And what we said with the the monoblock chopper lump, monoblock. What we said the other day, they've made the blacking yep. look perfect. To be honest with you, Paul. You're running out of time, mate. Are we? You've got a what's that recall pad called? Microfiber. Marcus, Mark uh, Fiber. Yeah. Mark Russell. Mark Russell. Mark Russell, Mark Fiber. Yeah. 695, mate. Sporter. Yeah.